Look out, it's about to blow up at the Maruti Suzuki Devil Circuit Corporate Challenge 2018. We've got the bravest, the boldest and the baddest corporate teams from all across India about to compete in the fury of the year. The country's toughest corporate challenge is about to get red hot. There's some red hot prizes on offer, with the winner taking home a cash bounty of 6 lakh rupees and the fastest finalist driving home into the sunset in an all new Maruti Suzuki Swift. Oh, Sananda, I love the smell of the corporate challenge in the moonlight. Now don't let that get to your head, Patrick, because you'll need your wits about you to learn the rules of the game. All 18 teams are divided into six groups, A, B, C, D, E and F. Each group consists of three teams. Each team will race the other two teams within that group. Each match consists of three races, where players from one team will race players from the opposing team. And the team with the higher circuit finishes within a match takes the win. In the case of no finishers, the team with two or three heat wins will be declared the match winner. And each win gives a team 10 points. After the first round of group matches, the teams will be reshuffled into new groups and the total points accrued at the end of round one and round two will determine the team rankings with the top eight teams proceeding to the quarterfinals. And here are the obstacles they have to overcome. Starting with, test your mettle. Here, contestants need to provide the right answer to a very tricky question or face a time penalty before moving on to the corporate roller coaster, featuring two curved bars with a challenging decline and incline before moving on to the next obstacle, Bell the Cat, where they must climb a rope to ring a bell before they head on to the wall, a six-foot barrier that contestants need to ascend and cross over when they'll face then the sea of poles, a slippery stretch of vertical poles that contestants need to get past to get to the super swing, which is another rope obstacle, but this one requires holding on and swinging across to arrive at monkey business. After channeling all their private instincts with monkey business, they meet the corporate ladder, a wobbly version of the monkey bars with a tricky gap to overcome. And then it's the final obstacle, the summit, where they run up a 14 foot curved wall to reach the buzzer. And remember, only the time of the first person to reach the buzzer counts. So here we go with a new challenger emerging onto the field of play. But the question is, will the legend rise to the top? Or will they stay consigned to the shadows of history? It's the football fanatics of Team Intellinet. A quick look up, a right foot shot. Don't you worry, madam. You'll see them again. It's time to kick off the proceedings. Intelnet's up against it as they face off against a GMR Firefighters. Yep, stepping onto the circuit for the first time. A Kamlesh Nagy for Intelnet and Niraj Kumar for GMR. Five, four, three, two, one. First match in Group F and taking on the course at uh, Tackling Gate is Kamlesh Negi is from Intelnet Global Services and Neeraj Kumar is uh, henceforth running for Dial. Having to sit and suffer for 20 seconds, not the ideal start for both of them. Great to see Intelnet coming to the uh, Devil Circuit party and great to see GMR back. They are one of our veterans here. They came second overall in the first and second seasons of the competition. So high hopes for them, but at the moment, Neeraj Kumar floundering to Kamlesh Negi who's uh, looking quite strong at the minute, and that's an impressive and technique. And look at yes, those leg muscles, Yes, Sananda. absolutely. Now, he's, he's, he's not the tallest boy, but I saw a very, very fun jump there to actually catch the corporate roller coaster. And he is very, very swift, I must say. Very, very swift. No wonder he's a footballer. You get them legs by playing football, Patrick. Yeah, they're both soccer players, these two. And uh, at the moment, it's the man in red. He's that's, obviously the defender there. Yeah. I think that's the highest anyone's yes. got on the sea of poles, and it gives you so much leverage. If you make a slip, you can almost carry on without panicking. You're going to get hit the deck. And this is impressive stuff for Kamlesh Negi. We had a couple of athletes in the earlier episodes of this season for but, and it's a big but. The real test is still to come. 
But you see, Patrick, you've been giving some some tips to uh, to Kamblesh there because he is actually taking on to everything that you've said here in the commentary box. If he listens to everything I say, the guy's going to be very wet in a minute. I couldn't do what these guys that just do. Didn't sound right Patrick did it <laughs> maybe 20 years ago I could do what these guys could do now but they are supreme athletes in their peak the swing is absolutely immaculate meanwhile Neeraj is closing fast but nowhere near fast enough Kamlish Negi is going to have a big run at the summit barring any major disasters very very impressive stuff by Kamlish Negi there now being shorter he will have to take a longer and a, and a more rapid run to the summit all that stands between Kamlish Negi taking the opening heat of this match for his team and possibly setting a brand new course record is the summit and easy as you like Negi's not even out of breath that man could go around again awesome stuff for Kamlish Negi Intelling at Global Services take that one in some style Intellinet had the momentum as Karan went up against Jeff Prakash. Jeff Prakash powered through as Karun dropped out far behind. JP couldn't take the summit and got timed out. Intellinet with the finisher's advantage, GMR had to win with a finish if they hoped to take the match. Pradeep was off like a bullet and sees the race by its horns. This could be sensational. The Maruti Suzuki Devil As Kalpesh trailed far behind in his wake, Pradeep seemed set to take it. The pressure was on Pradeep. He tried once and twice. If he fell, it was over for GMR. But he did it the third time, leading to a huge upset as GMR won the match. And the third time of asking, Pradeep Dyer. Can you believe it? GMR have only gone and done it. That extra heat win makes the difference as both teams register one finisher. Patrick, my heart goes out to Kamlesh Negi. He gave us one of the best races of the tournament so far, but then had to watch from the sidelines as his team lost the match. Well, that's the nature of this beast of a competition, Sananda, because you're only as strong as your weakest link. It's a team sport. Intellinet now down in the 14th position, would you believe, after losing against Infosys. But those two finishes by Kamlesh could still prove valuable in the second round of prelim action.